David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a little lesson for you on fretboard navigation and vision, where we're just going to cover just about the whole neck with basically two shapes. And it's just a little different way to get you thinking about maybe scales and licks and triads and arpeggios. And in this lesson, we're in the key of C minor, and I'm playing over a jam track that's kind of like a C minor stoner metal kind of thing. And I have to send a great shout out and a thank you to Dope's Jam Tracks. I bought this jam track off of bandcamp.com. So my thought process here is to try to give students another way to navigate the fretboard to kind of simplify things a little bit where you could run back and forth between a few positions and cover a lot of ground. We're in a key of C minor. And the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to cover this part of the neck here and this part of the neck here, all right, with the same scale shape. And that's going to be the C natural minor scale. And you might know this one already. It's very common. It's off of the root on the C note. It's movable. You can play it off of any root note. But we're in the key of C minor. So third fret on the A string, you find your C note. And then here's the shape. same exact shape repeats 12 frets up on the next C note on that A string, which would be up here. That's on the 15th fret of your A string, same shape. Okay, so if you know that one shape, already you have here, and you have here covered pretty much, right? So what do we need to do is we need to fill in here to here, right? And then we'll have from here to here covered in just basically two shapes. And if you want a free reference ebook to help you along your guitar journey, where I diagram out like 29 scales and I talk about all kinds of soloing strategies, it's packed with lessons and tons of fun stuff. You'll really like it. Um, it's a great reference tool and I'll send that as well as a video lesson for free on how to spice up your soloing. Simple things that you could really add. I'll send them both to you. Free video lesson, free ebook. Click on that link below from Next Level Guitar. So that one in the middle, what we want to use is we want to use the minor pentatonic expanded one scale in the key of C. C minor, pentatonic, and blues. Right? C natural minor has all those notes in except the blue note. We'll throw that in there just for some color. But basically, you know, when you're using that natural minor scale, you could use minor pentatonic, but the natural minor has those minor pentatonic notes in there. So this all will work. And we're in the key of C minor, so we could jam this over, you know, all the chords in this particular instance. And this is movable. We're playing it in C minor, so you want to find your C note on the low E string and play it with your third finger. Okay, and now that shape looks like this. So now look at that, that covers here. Then we have our C minor, natural minor up here, and we have our other C minor, natural minor here. So now with that, we have just about, you know, not the entire neck, but you know, 85% of it. Let's come up with some things that we could kind of move in between them and make it sound musical, right? So let's take this piece of the solo I played at the intro. <laughs> started kind of here in the C natural minor position up top and then I kind of moved it down into this minor pentatonic descending kind of thing and I ended up in C natural minor here. So the first thing I did was I played a C minor triad up here in this C natural minor position. This is a great minor triad, you should know this too. Check out some of my less other lessons because I talk about soloing with triads quite a bit. Um, and basically this is movable but off the C note here on that 17th fret. So I played a lick like this. And then I grab my high C. And I came back down but I kind of swept it and played it a little faster. And hey, if you get a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel that really helps us to keep bringing the content. Please leave a comment below. Let us know 
what you'd like to see in coming lessons. If you like the video, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and we so appreciate your support. And then what I did is I slid it into this minor pentatonic expanded scale where I'm mixing natural minor and minor pentatonic and blues has that really, you get some really cool sounds. So all you do is I'm sliding right into position. So I slid to that 10th fret and then that eighth fret. There's my root note. So now I'm in that minor pentatonic and blues and I just descended pretty much. Right down that position, right down that shape. But what I do is I bent that flat third to major third. Right, that's kind of a cool lick, bluesy lick. Right, just putting that, that little ambiguous note there, that flat to major third, always seems to work to my root note C. Then I just descended straight down the scale. And I got to my next one, same note, right? Bending that E flat. Right, and then I bend it twice. So here's what I did slow. Natural minor, minor pentatonic and blues. And then what I did is I used this, right, the C natural minor scale here. Went a whole step lower, crab to B flat. And again, I'm just sliding up to add a little interest and sliding down. And I'm landing on those notes. And then I played this. And what I what that is, is I'm in this C natural minor position that I showed you earlier, but I played a C minor seventh arpeggio. Right? Good. Flat third, fifth, flat seven. So I'm picking out notes. That's all an arpeggio is, is the notes of a chord played separately. Right? So I don't want to play every note, so I'm picking out the notes in the C minor seventh chord. And this is a great arpeggio to sweep. So if I go down the whole arpeggio slow. When I got up to the top, I slid up to my C note, 10th fret, 8th fret, slid back and pulled off, and did a lick like that. And then I bent that note. I have this beautiful half step here. Pull off, pull off, bend. You could end it like that if you want. Back to my root. So here it is slow. But I'm thinking that architecture of just two shapes, I got the whole neck, right? If I speed it up a little bit. Just a little different way of thinking about the neck. Sometimes you will see an avalanche of ideas pop up. In this lesson, I'm using this Universum Mariana Private Reserve guitar. It's a really awesome guitar made by the good people of Universum Guitars. And I'm playing through a Paul Reed Smith MT-15, all tube amps, 6L6 tubes, and uh, through a 112 Paul Reed Smith cabinet that's mic with an SM57. I'm on, in the amp, I'm on the lead channel. Uh, the gain's about 60%. I'm plugged straight into the amp from the guitar. The only effect I have is I have a Keeley Caverns pedal in the effects loop, and that's just giving me a, just a splash of reverb and delay. I hope this lesson helped you along your guitar journey. Have fun with it. Put your own spin on it. Make it your own. Subscribe to the channel. That really helps us, right? Um, if you like the video, click the like button, share it. Remember, if you want that free video lesson and the ebook where I diagram out all the scales 
and tons and tons of useful information. Click on that link below. I want to thank you so much for your support over the years. Thank you for tuning in. Keep that hard work up on that guitar. Keep having fun with it. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock out.